Right, we're on route to our first house. So we're, we're going to be staying with a local family in Mongolia. Uh, this is our last stop before we get, um, before we have to basically um, stock up with supplies and everyone's supplies. It's basically beer. And we, yes, we bought more beer than water. They've brought more beer than more than water. There we go. So there you go. So water, beer. <laughs> Everyone's just got beers, as you can see. So it's going to be a fun trip. Babysit, I'm going Yeah, I'll babysit. <laughs> and here we are. It's a good group so far. We've got some people from the States. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Germans, that's, that's Australians, you know, on tour. Argentinians. There we go. So. Let's get this going and then I'll start um, vlogging once I get inside the Gur and I'll show you what it's like inside a Mongolian Gur. Peace out. Wow, um, after five hours of driving, we've literally just made it. Um, we're going to meet our local family. Oh, we're back. Right, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mongolia. We'll be staying with these local family, and uh, how amazing is this? We're literally out in the sticks, well, not in the sticks, just in the fields, the mountains. Those are three, um, three jeeps that have taken us here, and then fr from here the jeeps are going to leave us, and we'll be riding horseback into the next towns and the next villages to spend time with more family so it's time to say goodbye to um the beasts the land rovers and spend some time in there this is going to be amazing i'm genuinely really excited now and i'm going to meet the family um i think they've got kids as well going to say hello to everyone and enjoy it see you later Right, here we go, my first look in a Mongolian gear where we will be staying. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, I've got pillows. Let's chill here. Let's check this out. It's got a little hole there, got a table here. So we go to my home the next few days. Little Mongolian gear. So we've all um, set into our camp, and um, typical yeah. lads, we've we've turned it into a student pad. So we've got some beers, got some whiskey, got some wine, got Pringles, got some bananas. What more do you want? <laughs> Are you going? So here I am, my horseback <laughs> experience. I've never ridden a horse. Um, this is my horse. I'll show you my horse. This is my horse. This is wild. You kind of talk to yourself an awful lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I've got no friends. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I drink. So, yeah, I've never ridden a horse, so hopefully I'll, um, <laughs> it'll go well. It's a one and a half hour horse ride straight into the desert. We're going to stop off. It's a long time. And it's a long time, <laughs> yeah. It's a long time. Uh, but I've got my hat, so wish me luck. They milk the horses? Till like October. So they milk them every two hours. Okay, now for the like that, a little lower, horses, a little lower. Uh, okay. female horses, they get like around 10 liters of milk every two hours. Uh, anyone else want more? <laughs> 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 
Hopefully they're gonna I'm going to pass on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, it has alcohol I did, in it. No, <laughs> it has alcohol, I do it. i got to be quite honest. I drink eight beers a day every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going. morning from my very uh, very cold Mongolia um, it's about 7 a.m. and I'll show you what it's like it's beautiful though check this out and next step is to brush my teeth and they don't have sink they don't have anything so let me show you how we brush our teeth out here in the sticks. Well, I want to really call it the sticks. Let's... Oh. So all we need, just like home, toothpaste. There's no, uh, there's no running water. So, and there's nowhere to place anything. So a bit of water. And it's like zero degrees, so everyone is absolutely freezing. What's your name? My name is Boy Mother. Yay! Say hello to there. <laughs> cool. There we go. My name is Pete. 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 I'm going to chill and make some friends with Boy Matra. If I can say that right. Probably couldn't. Hi. Hello, it's recording. This is my driver. This is, this is my driver. It's what's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing? It's picking me up. Yoda. Oh, he's wrestling with me. He's wrestling with me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Right, I don't know exactly what happened there. I thought he wanted to take a take a photo, and he ended up starting to wrestle me. Uh, but anyway, that's the national sport, uh, wrestling. I don't know why on earth he did that. But he gets wanted to be famous. Swap my hair out, and uh, today we're going to the waterfalls. It should be really cool. It's absolutely freezing on. Literally, oh my wax is going all hard. I'm uh, washing, sort my hair out Ooh, on a car a bonnet because there's nowhere else I can really put my stuff. So, this is how we do it out here. And then, I'm not sure if you can hear the hair, I'm not sure if you can hear the sheep in the background. But, it's so cool being out in the sticks. My hair's fine. I like Tala. I've actually had loads of compliments about my hair. People said, oh, it's very different. It's kind of cool. And, uh, right, I think that'll do. What do you think? I've got my little mirror. Look at that. Inside this building, it's not safe. It's my shoe. This is so dangerous. Let's see what's going on here. There's not much going on to be fair, but you can't not go in an abandoned building. 
It's the rule. Or my rule, anyway. Let me show you the American tent. They've been up since about seven and uh, they've been drinking beer. And you can probably hear them. So I'm gonna go straight in. This is their house, well, their doors. <laughs> Breakfast is served. Oh God, no. If you're talking to yourself. Breakfast is, is served. There we go. Do you already? Oh, throw away the this is Bob. <laughs> YouTube, meet Bob. Well, the most big. experienced man on the trip. <laughs> He's on the beers already. It's early in the morning. Never too early to start. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Take a cool. picture. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Actually, I'm going to stay over there. I'll stay over there. What have we got today? Cake kind of stuff. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you think it is. Uh, this is our bathroom. There's no water, but fortunately we've got hands, sanitizer. And uh, your audience is um, a herd full of sheep. Absolutely speechless. Watch this. If I can turn the camera around. Hello, so it um, turns out the sheep have run away and uh, they've gone to the other side of the hills and now we're in the jeep and we have to get behind them trees and herd them back, like physically walk them back. <laughs> Boom, we found the sheep. I'm going to basically listen to what the main man says. Oh, this must be good grass up here. And uh, I'm going to stop vlogging and start doing some work soon. So I've got a long walk back. But before I go, look at this. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to get to work and uh, herd these sheep. This is so confusing. Um, I've now been told I have to fetch the yaks with the little girl and everyone else has gone to herd the sheep, which was fairly easy to be fair. Oh right, here we go, God, this is going to be fun. So I've got the yaks to take home. This girl is doing all this by herself. It's like big animals as well. It yaks. She's just throwing. Right, let's. Uh... Oh, he's just driving us. The dad is literally going home. Oh no, there's one sheep running away. Right, I think we're winning. Um, I'm in charge of the yaks, which was kind of scary because they're fairly big. Um, I'm in charge of them. And then they're in charge of all them. And seriously, credit to that little girl. It's like she's managed to herd all these basically by herself. I mean, if us guys weren't here, it would have been ridiculous. We're still, um, we're still getting the sheep and, I mean, yeah, the sheep and the cows to move. And I think we're doing fairly well because you see that white building over there? We're there. So somehow they've stopped all of a sudden. And oh, oh some, some have gone off, some have gone off. Good morning, it's uh, about 7 a.m. and we're on the hunt for wild horses. We've um, seen some outside, well, they've kind of like run up now because they've seen us. Um, I've taken one or two photos. This is uh, the outback again. 
it's extremely vast and uh, to be fair I got a bit bored so I've come back in the van while everyone else goes outside to take photos because to me it's just, it's just it's just you know a horse really and this is our um, beautiful Jeep I mean check out that gear knob how cool is that and that's our driver main man himself He's taken us everywhere. He's taken us uh, on grass, gravel, through streams. Really good guy. So yeah, it's our final night with him. So we're going to give him a a uh, nice tip. Uh, I finally managed to have a shower. So hence why my hair is all fluffy. Um, we're going to get the driver a nice bottle of vodka as a tip. Then we're off to stay with three more families. And then we're back off to the main city in Ulaanbaatar. So let's see what happens on this trip. Uh, they're still out finding horses. I don't really care about the horse. I'm going to sit in the warm and watch the man clean the windows. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> we'll stay in the room where the first rays of the sun and its last beams carries and cling to the aspen and bench as over 460 species of plants, including 33 species of mushrooms, 85 Ooh. species of lichens, and 90 species of mushrooms. <laughs> I've uh, secretly hidden Pete somewhere so no one can ever see him again and I'm just going to take over his vlogging empire. Um, Alright, that's about as much as I have to say. Bye!